In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a service that allows you to provide feedback to your kids. And it's a very, very easy way. First of all, it's called Kaizena, so you can see that up there. And then in this example here, what we see is a document that one of our one of the students has written and then there are comments out to the side. Now you know that in Google Docs you can create comments but these are all text comments. In Kaizena you can also give voice feedback, you can also assign a lesson, and then this it would be uh, just to let the kids know basically if they're on track with with different things. Okay so here's the way that we're going to do this. If you don't already have an account, you're going to sign up with Google. Now you go to kaizena.com, K-A-I-Z-E-N-A.com. I'm going to click log in because I already have an account. And I'm going to log in with Google. And then notice what's going to happen here. It has both of my accounts. I am going to use this account up here at the top as my teacher account and I am going to use this account as my student account for right now. Okay, so I click there. If I didn't already have an account, it would ask me if I'm a learner or if I am a teacher. So I would just respond accordingly. And then once I do, it's going to come in and look like this. So I can create a group or join a group. So this would be a way that if you were teaching six different subjects or six different classes and you did not want them to have access to each other's work, then you would create a new group for every class you have. Okay. Now for this activity, I'm just going to assume that we're all going to go into one. So I'm going to click create new group and then I can choose what subject it is. I'm just going to say it's English for um, right now and I'm going to say it's sixth grade. Okay and it gives me a group there. Now maybe I want to change this to um, English first hour or ELA first hour or whatever. I can do that here if I want to just by typing on that. I'm going to leave it as it is. Click create group. Alright now it gives me this code to give to my students. My students are going to use this in a little bit whenever they create their accounts and I've written that down. Now I can print handouts that tell them what to do. I can invite them by email or I can send this to Google Classroom if I want. Okay. So for, as far as the teacher goes, this is all I have to do right now. Okay. Now I need to take my kids through basically the same process. So here's what they're going to do. I'm going to switch my users over to my other account that I told you that I was going to pretend was my student account. Here I am. Okay, now students have to create an account in Kaizena also. They will need to have a Google account to be able to do this. And whenever they create their account, first of all, I was already logged in with this one, but they will log in using their Google account. So they will sign up with Google and then it will ask them if they're a learner or if they're a teacher. They'll respond accordingly and say that they're a learner. And if they do, then they will, it will ask them what group they want to join right then. I'm going to go ahead and join the one that I wrote down earlier and hit join group. You can see it's working there and now I'm in English grade 6. If I go in there, there is nothing there. No one has added anything and um, no one has been providing any kind of feedback. Okay, So I'm a, as a student, I'm just going to close this. I'm done with that right now. But to demonstrate how it works, after a student has completed writing something, they're going to submit it using Kaizena for feedback. So the way I look at this is I used to teach the writer's workshop process. And with writer's workshop, we were providing feedback to each other and peer uh, conversations. And then we would also have teacher conferences and it took me a very very long time to get through all of my students with the with the teacher conferences so this could speed it up a little bit I will open up a document notice that this is a Google Doc in um, my drive and then I'm going to go to add-ons 
And then I'm going to use this Kaizena shortcut add-on. If I don't have Kaizena, I will go to Manage Add-ons, and then I would just search for it, get add-ons, and then search Kaizena right here. It'll come up. It will be blue where mine is green. It will say free, and then you've got it. Okay? So, once I've got my account in Kaizena, and I've installed the Kaizena shortcut add-on, I can submit this to the group. So, add-ons, Kaizena shortcut, open Kaizena shortcut, and then it says this document is not on Kaizena yet. I'm just going to click add this to a conversation, and I want to put it into my English grade 6 group, and then I just need to hit add file. It's in there. Okay. Now, after I've done that, as a student, I am done. Now, I'm going to go back in as a teacher. First of all, I should have received an email saying that a student has submitted something through Kaizena. Okay, so that is probably there. But what I'm going to do is go in to where it says English Grade 6. And then right here it says Kaizena user, so I know that this is my student's file that they just put in here. Now, I'm reading through here. It says there are many ways I feel I can uphold and exemplify the four pillars of National Honor Society. Maybe I want to say something like, this is a really good word. I highlight it, and I could have highlighted a whole sentence if I wanted to. And over here on voice, that is a really good word to use. Now I hit stop recording and it's there. Okay. Now over here, maybe I decide that I want to tell them, I want to say um, indenture paragraph. Okay, and I'll hit post to highlight. And I also have lessons in here. And then um, I don't really use the skills, but I'll show you how the lessons work. Let's say that this, the student should have used quotation marks around this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click right here, even though I know that there's not supposed to be quotation marks there. And I'm going to go to my light bulb and I already have a lesson in there called quotation marks. I'm going to click add lesson to highlight and then it puts my YouTube video. This is like a mini lesson there. Okay, so once I'm done here I'm going to click close file and I've got all of these different conversations going on in here. And now if I go back into my student profile I can watch these. So I can click here. That is a really good word to use. And if I see down here, oh, I was supposed to use my quotation marks, I can click on watch video. And there's my quotation mark video. Okay. Students can reply back to you. They don't have to. It depends on what you want them to do. Now for my students, they should also receive an email that says that I've given them feedback, but the other thing they can do is open up their document. They would need to have the Kaizena shortcut add-on as well. Open that, and then now they can see the feedback that I've given them. So, that is a really good word to use. Okay, so wherever it says has highlight, I want to see that. What I'd have to do is click. It's going to open Kaizena so I can see where that is. But it's pretty obvious right here. I'm supposed to indent this paragraph. And then also, um, if I was supposed to use quotation marks, I didn't. I can go ahead and watch this video. And then I can go right back in here and see where I was supposed to add that. And that's it as far as providing feedback. Very, very easy to do. And let me show you once again how to create 
the lessons, I'm going to go here to those little pancakes and where it says lessons, keep in mind I'm in Kaizena. I can add a lesson and really all the lesson is is a YouTube video. So here's my quotation mark one and I've just copied and pasted the YouTube video in there. So add new lesson. Let's give it a name. Uh, the other thing that my students have always have trouble with is capitalizing. I don't know why. That's hard. And then I'll hit add. Now over here where that link is I'll just copy and paste my YouTube link right in there and then hit post and it's there. Now this is another one of my lessons. I can also go here to the Kaizena um, curated lessons that they have, open them, and utilize these as well. But that's it. It's that easy.